Welcome, Janai Joseph. Thank you. Needham High School, class of 23. Yes. So, Janaya, um, right now I'm serving in two roles as your superintendent mm -hmm. of the Needham Public Schools, and I'm also um, honored uh, to be and have been for a while a member of the Needham Exchange Club. Mm -hmm. I'm not the best member. I don't always show up to all the meetings. However, one of my roles in the Needham Exchange Club is to work on the scholarship committee. Mm -hmm. And I'm very excited right now to be able to present to you as one of a few Needham High School students who are receiving the Youth of the Month. So, congratulations to Janai Thank Joseph you. for receiving the 2023 Youth of the Month from the Needham Exchange Club. Thank you. And this comes with a $1,000 scholarship for you as well. Thank you. For uh, all of your hard work. So I'll just, I'll kind of do this Thank all by you. myself. There'll be more applause coming later. We can maybe sit it down there. Um, I think that's awesome. So uh, congratulations. And it's, it, it really, it's, it's a privilege to be able to talk to one of our graduating seniors, someone mm -hmm. I've known for many years, uh, going back to, you know, when you were in school yes. at, at, at Broadmeadow. Um, maybe you can, you know, talk a little bit about, you applied for the scholarship from the Exchange Club because mm -hmm. of uh, all of the things you've been doing at Needham High School. Yes. Why, don't you, why don't you share with me what, you know, what are some of the really important accomplishments and things that you've been involved in while mm -hmm. you've been at Needham High? Just in general, like the diversity work that I've been doing around the school, I've kind of been involved in the behind the scenes, um, especially I remember in freshman year, kind of with the Portrait of a Needham graduate program um, and kind of being able to to rework the um, the values of Needham High. I think the work of the Portrait of a Needham graduate is important because the environment that you were in at a younger age kind of shapes who you're going to become when you get older. My high, during my high school years, we just recently started the Black Student Union, um, and it's in its second year of existence now. I was involved in the leadership team okay. when it started, so okay. I was initially the publicist, and um, we kind of solidified this this event that we have, this annual event that we have called the Cookout, um, and I ran for co-president along with my friend Leah, and um, I serve as one of the presidents now. And Leah and you are co-presidents. Le yes, Leah and I are co-presidents. Of the Black Student yes. Union, that's awesome. and we love it. It's a great experience, um, and we have a really big group. The group is only growing, because last year we had a good amount of students, and then this year, like, it's even more students, so. Um, and we're planning for the cookout again, and we're hoping to keep it going for the years to come. So, Well, I, I have watched you grow and exert your leadership mm -hmm. uh, in this district. You know, Broadmeadow, High Rock, Pollard, Needham High Schools, we've talked about issues of race and equity. And right. you clearly are a leader and someone that, you know, we, we, we look up to, to learn from and, and to take the lead from as well. Mm -hmm. uh, share, share with me, what are some of the other things you've been involved in mm -hmm. at Needham High School or outside of Needham High School? Right. So currently, um, I'm involved in a pageant for young black women who aspire to attend historically black colleges and universities. Um, and it's kind of like a career building program. Um, it talks a lot about um, kind of just really living within your passions and being able to have a clear set of where you want to be in life. So I'm very excited. I'm doing a lot of preparing. Um, a lot of definitely posting, raising awareness about the event. As part of the pageant, what do you do? What are some of the some of the roles you play or some of the things that have to happen? We attend a lot of workshops. So we have workshops like we have mental health workshops. We have workshops on financial literacy. Um, we have workshops on just confidence, like things like that. So I've been attending workshops about once or twice a week. Um, and they're about an hour and a half. And it's a lot about um, like just building your, not your persona, but like how you kind of um, present yourself and um, public speaking, being articulate, um, things like that. Well, and, and you know, those are all skills that at an HBCU um, or any, anywhere that right. you would want to uh, you'd want to have and, and share. Right. Uh, certainly those are skills and attributes that you have shared uh, at Needham High School and, and in your career in Needham. Thank you. Um, what are, uh, when, when you think about your experience in the Needham Public Schools, mm -hmm. 
What do you think have been some of the biggest, or, or outside of the schools, some of the biggest challenges that you're proud that you've overcome or that you're still working on? I think this is any student, but time management has been one of my biggest challenges. Okay. But I think it's especially harder maybe as a MECO student because a lot of time just traveling is taken, taken out of your day. So especially being involved in extracurriculars, like for example, I'm one of the captains for Bomb Squad. So I usually, which is our step team, for those who don't know. <laughs> yep. So um, I usually stay after school until about five, and then I have to worry about like public transportation and getting home maybe takes like an hour at So most. I'm going to interrupt you for a second because yeah. we didn't begin with this. You, you're, you're a Needham High School student, Needham Public School student since kindergarten. Yes. And you are part of the METCO program. Yes. So you live in Boston, and you have this wicked long commute going both ways, mm -hmm. and you're involved in all these activities. Yes. So I can understand how time management can be a challenge. You, yes. you should be pretty proud that you, <laughs> you've accomplished all of this, given all of those logistics. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, I think that's, uh, I, I think that's great. Um, when I, I know that uh, you're waiting to hear from which university or college that you want to go to, and so we'll, yes. we'll wait to hear about that because you know, we're, we're, you're, you're all getting back to you and, yes. and all that. But that's, your aspiration is to um, move on to university or college. Mm -hmm. Do you have an idea of a field of study yet, or is that something that's unfolding? Um, it's, it's unfolding, but my top is psychology right, as of now. Okay. I do want to, I want to be a clinical psychologist. That's awesome. Yes. Well, there's no question that when I think about everything everyone's gone through over the last couple of years, mm -hmm. the mental health needs and social emotional learning needs of young people yeah. and adults has certainly become um, top of mind for everybody. Yes. And so that if you want to go into a field uh, like that, that is certainly a helping profession yes. and a healing profession is really, uh, uh, is really necessary. Mm -hmm. um, you, you know, your experience in Needham High School was shaped by your family. It was shaped by Definitely. your experiences at your other schools mm -hmm. and by some of the teachers that, you know, inspired you along the way. You, you can't name everyone, um, but are there a couple, my, a couple names that come to mind of the folks, the adults yes. who have helped shape your life over the last several years? Yes, definitely. Oh, gosh, I can't name all of them. That I know, would be I know. so, we'd be here forever. I know, I know. But um, I'll definitely say in elementary school, um, my, my fourth grade teacher Miss Wong and my fifth grade teacher, Miss Ferger. They definitely, I, I just remember them. I have a clear memory of them. Miss Wong, I have a clear memory of her just helping me a lot, kind of becoming confident in the things I wasn't necessarily confident about, especially like subjects. She would push me a lot in math. I had a hard time with math in the fourth grade. I had a really hard time with math. Um, and she was just always there by my side. And um, she was always engaging with me, so was Miss Ferger. Miss Ferger supports me to this day. I see her all the time. Um, I'm in communication with her, so I do really appreciate her. Um, in the high school, I do have a lot of staff members that I really enjoy speaking with. The guidance office, I love the guidance office. Miss Thomas, Mr. A, Miss Guthrie, she's in the she's in the guidance office all the time with us, and we just yeah. we have a really good time. Um, well, I, I know that you can go on and on with yeah, who else, <laughs> and, and there are people we're leaving out, and then we're all, you and yeah. I will both get in trouble, so I don't want that to happen. <laughs> in the short time we have remaining, yeah. you'll be leaving Needham High School, mm -hmm. you'll come back and visit sometime, but as you leave, and as you think about, you know, the challenges that we have here, whether it's challenges of, of, um, of equity, or race, mm -hmm. or academic excellence, um, or, or developing and s supporting mental health needs of students, what would you tell me? What advice would you give me as you go out the door? Say, you know, uh, Dan Goodykant, you should remember to pay attention to this. What would that be? I think in Needham High School, there is a lot of emphasis on, you know, on your piece. We have days where we kind of talk about the importance of mental health, but I think that should definitely extend to the middle school and maybe even as early as elementary because it is something that you know, takes time to understand. Um, so I will say, I will say mental health. So your, your physical health is important. Yes, definitely. And your mental health really complements your physical health. Yes. And it's important for us to take care of one another, to take care of ourselves. And that's something that, that's important to you and that you even aspire to in, in, in college. Yes. So that's awesome. Well, it's been great for me to get to know you over all these years. 
I'm very excited that you received this Exchange Club Me scholarship. Too. Um, and uh, I certainly wish you well as you. Uh, you await to hear from colleges and as you go on uh, to do amazing things beyond the need in public schools. Thanks, Janiah. Thank you. Okay.